Uh, in Iran, also the same. Iranian, we have uh, uh, three groups of filmmakers. Put it this way: the group that makes ordinary commercial films. The second group is uh, propaganda filmmakers, and the third group, which is about five percent of filmmakers, are or to ten, five to ten, they are independent. Uh, they do follow their own convictions, and they fight with any kind of uh, censorship. Men and women in film, they cannot touch. During the film, woman has to be, women has to be uh, uh, veiled or uh, scarf. Uh, the hair should not be uh, out of their scarf. And even it's very uh, obscure when you see the woman alone at home or with the husband. Still, she's covered all over. And uh, they would like to have cinema continuous uh, regarding to your question. But you cannot uh, touch or pass any red line anywhere. Control. And mm, stop your film, censor your film, put your film in the uh, cans. Uh, this is the reason the cinema industry in Iran is broken. It's a propaganda tool. Also, one of the things that I have to add is that um, they love historical revisionism. They will change any reality into the truth that they want to produce it to be. Fanoi is coming from the poor family. And he started, he graduated in, I think, in 1988 from a school of a television film school. He started to become assistant of various filmmakers, uh, notably Skiarostami. He learned the crafts. He learned, he has good experiencing of a harsh life when he grew up. And in 1995, he made his first feature film, The White Balloon, which a script was Kiarostami's. And the film received camera dough in Cannes Film Festival. Kanohi is the only one, only one, among a group of 10 to any independent great Iranian filmmakers around the world who received every major gold medal in every eight film festival. He is the first one who contributed parallel storytelling and multi-layer storyline in his films, number one. And stylistically, he's always focusing on social criticism. You should know as little ways that he fights um, the regime, for example. One of the things that you'll notice is that most of the men in his, sh in his films are clean shaven and they wear, wear neckties. The, that in, in, our, in, in our lingo is a, is a confrontation with the regime. The, the fact is, is that in Iran, men are really not allowed to wear ties because the Iranian regime doesn't look frowns upon it as a as a, a western form of accessory dress in a way you know being able to just focus on what you have at hand gives new life to you know things that maybe you would have overlooked before everyone here eats breakfast but you know he eats uh, whatever the bread that he was eating, or you know, people drink tea, but Iranians do a very you know, specific way of making <laughs> tea, which is you know very time honored tradition. But um, but but so so I think that's the the thing that we can all see in in any story, and that we should again challenge where these stories are coming from and where they're being told, and, and to sort of seek out uh, you know telling stories in these very specific places that people might not know about, but then always rooting it in our you know um, in these universal stories. That I think for me it emphasizes and, and, and underlines our interconnectedness as, as people and, you know, in the world. I think of myself as an artist and how like, fortunate we are in America to be able to uh, you know, just really practice that and hone that and be you know, um, <coughs> honored for being able to do that and to see that in another nation we can do that was really eye-opening because it's the same art, it's the same passion.
قرار بود که آدم تعریف کنه که فیلم نمی‌ساخت 